Hey everybody, welcome back to 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. Today we have a classic written by Jimmy Webb and of course made famous by Glenn Campbell. The song was recorded in the key of F. We're going to do it in the key of G today because that means some nice easy chords with your fretting hand. I'm going to show you how to strum through the chords. I'm also going to show you a nice finger style pattern that works great for accompanying yourself. And we might as well learn the melody of the tune as well since it's so beautiful. Today I'm teaching you this song in the key of G. The original recording by Glenn Campbell is in the key of F. If you want to use this information today to play along with the original recording, you'd have to loosen all your strings down a whole step. Now don't let me stop you from doing that, but I'm sorry that it's not more convenient to play in the original key. In the key of G, like we're about to do right now, there are a lot of nice chords, and let's check out those chords right now. The chords include A major, A minor, B minor, C major 7, which is a two finger chord, although you'll see in a moment that adding on your pinky, making it a C add 9 chord, is also an option. So C major 7 or C add 9, I'll talk more about that shortly. D major, E major, easy chords, right? E minor, doesn't get any easier than E minor, and also G major. Okay, now let's get into the verse. Wichita Lyman has two verses. For the first verse, I'm going to keep the strumming nice and simple with light downstrokes. The second verse, I'll show you something a little bit fancier. Okay, now, as you know, the chords are pretty easy. The original recording by Glenn Campbell has some beautiful orchestration with lots of harmonies that just aren't possible for us to get as a single guitar player. But what you're learning today will certainly carry you through the whole tune and sound great as you sing along or as you accompany a singer. Okay, so let's get started. First, I like to get the melody out in the open. Okay, I am a lineman for the. Here we go. County. Four strums. G. And I ride the mini. A minor. E minor. Searching in the sun for another. Okay, now we've made it through the verse. We're on what I call the vamp, okay? And to reflect the vamp and the, the pretty music that's happening uh, in this section of the song, we're going to go like this on the C major 7. B minor. That was C major 7. A minor. Okay, see what I was doing there? Grabbing the C major 7, one strum, and then two up picks on the uh, open E string. B minor, but I didn't fret the open, I didn't fret the first string, I left my finger off the first string. Okay, it's still a B minor, but I'm leaving the first string open. A couple of up plucks there, back to C major 7. And then finally A minor, because it's about to head into verse number 2, you know. I know I need a long day. Okay, so uh, we kept the strumming simple. Essentially, I was doing four strums for each one of those chords you see on the screen, with the one exception of uh, E minor was only two and B minor was only two in that section, right on searching. And we had that bonus uh, E with no extra strumming. I hear you singing, right? We had that one extra E there. And just let it ring, right on, I hear you singing. Okay? Otherwise, basically four strums per chord until we got to the vamp, and you just saw what we did there for the vamp. Now, that takes care of the first verse. Okay? Let's get into the second verse. Uh, it's going to be the same chords over here with your uh, fretting hand, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put down the pick and show you a nice simple finger picking pattern that's going to uh, really carry the verse in a nice way. And you might choose to do this for both verses. Here it comes. I zoomed the camera out so you could see my picking hand, because here at the second verse, I thought you might get a kick out of learning a, a new finger picking pattern, a very easy finger picking pattern, but I really like how it fits this song. 
Uh, I'm going to illustrate it using a C add nine chord. That's the C major seven kind of chord, but we're adding the pinky on the second string third fret. Uh, one measure of this finger picking pattern sounds like this. Okay, thumb, a gentle pluck down on the fifth string, and my ring, middle, and index are on the second, third, and fourth strings respectively, doing three up plucks towards my shoulder. That's one measure, okay? And for most uh, of the verse, every chord lasts for one measure, with the exception that you might remember is the E minor to the B minor. Now you have some flexibility in this finger picking pattern as to uh, which the first note is gonna be for your thumb, and also which three strings you're gonna pluck up with your uh, ring, middle, and index. For instance, on the B minor, I would pluck my fourth string first, and then the three treble strings, like that. For uh, G or E minor, sixth string first, and either the three treble strings or the second, third, and fourth strings. So a little bit of flexibility there, okay? In general, you try to get the root note with your thumb, the note that shares the name of the chord, uh, but it's not always mandatory. Okay, so here's how the second verse is gonna sound with this uh, finger picking pattern. There's the melody. I know I need a small vacation, but it don't look like that. And if the snows that stretch down south will never Hold the strain And I need you more than more here And I want you for all time Here's the A minor The witch in the tall light band Is still on fire And here comes the vamp I'm Gonna do the same thing I did before Just like this with my thumb Light that kind of B minor with no finger on the first string. Back to C major seven. To that A minor. Okay. And then you've done both verses. Okay. So that finger picking pattern um, is simple, but I like it because it really gets the chords to ring as opposed to a finger picking pattern where you're doing individual notes like this one, one string at a time. To me, that just doesn't fit this tune. So I hope you like this approach. Remember, you can always go back to those nice, simple down strokes using a pick, or if you didn't have a pick handy, you can even just strum it lightly with your thumb, the way we did in the first verse, but using your thumb instead of a pick. All right, now for the fun of it, let's have one more clip. Let's pick out the melody for the whole tune, because it's always nice to be able to pick out the melody. How about if you had a friend who was playing this background stuff, and you jumped in and picked out the melody? Sounds great, right? Let's check it out. I want to take a minute and say thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the playlist there called 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. Hundreds of videos like this one that I think you'll really enjoy. And don't forget to check out my website, Songbike. Uh, lots of videos you cannot find anywhere else. Now, as we get into the melody, I want to remind you of two things. Number one, we are not in the same key as the original. So if you go to play along with the original when it comes on the radio, sadly, this won't work. So sorry, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, secondly, this is my interpretation of the melody. Feel free to change any of these notes, okay? Here it comes. Two, three, four. Beautiful, huh? Simple, a lot of open strings. We love those open strings, right? All right, there you go, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you for another riff of the day tomorrow.